news to my mom the other night, so I think that's the last time I'm going to talk to her for the rest of my life. That's how that went. She wanted iTunes. I said, you just go online, find iTunes, download it, create a username and a password, and you have iTunes. And she said, are there spaces in that? Are there spaces in the sentence I just said out loud? Yes. That's why it didn't sound like a bunch of letters just mushed up together, because there were spaces in it. It took me a second to realize all my mom knows about the internet is the internet browser bar. She was going to type in www. Go online, find iTunes, download it, create a username and a password. dot com, and then just fling it into the internet. There's all the information. Bring me iTunes by tomorrow. And once we got over that hurdle, she said, "Is there internet on iTunes?" You win. You've asked an unanswerable question. No, there is not internet on iTunes. And before I could finish, she goes, "So should I cancel my internet?" That's probably a best idea. That's a good idea. I think you should. You should cancel your internet, then throw your computer out of the window and beat it with a stick. I'd rather pay a band to play for my mom every night of her life than to explain iTunes to this woman. She called me an hour later, and she goes, "I downloaded a song. Is it supposed to open in Microsoft Works?" No, is the short answer. No, it is not supposed to open in Microsoft Works. I don't even know how you made that happen. I'm not smart enough to be dumb enough to understand how you got a song to open in Microsoft Works. The things you did wrong in a row. The number of times your computer said, "Are you sure?" And you were like, "Yeah, I'm quite certain." Let's open this beast up. I'm ready to read some music. I live with my girlfriend now.